Now let us solve this problem. Design a Turing machine for the language L is equal to A power N, B power N such that N greater than or equal to 1. So equal number of A's followed by equal number of B's. So the possible strings are if N is equal to 1 then AB. If N is equal to 2 then AABB. If N is equal to 3 then triple A, triple B. Likewise we can have N number of strings. First let us see the logic. Uh, so let n is equal to 2, so then the string is, so 2a's, 2b's, 2a's and 2b's. So if uh, we read a, then change the content of the a to x, change a to x. Then move the head towards the right till we find b. So here we have b, so we have to move the read right head towards the right till we get b. So if we b if we read b then replace with y. So for this uh, for this x for this a we have the corresponding b. Okay. So next we have to move towards the left till we get a till we get x. Okay. So here we have x. So after that we have to move the we have to move the read right end towards the right. So here we have a. So replace this a with x. Next we have to move the read right head towards the right till we get B. So here we have B. So replace this B with Y. So for this uh, A we have the corresponding B. So the, here we are replacing uh, this B with Y. Okay. So this is an example. Okay. Here we have two A's and two B's. The two A's are replaced with two X's and the two B's are replaced with the two Y. Uh, now with the help of an example let us, de uh, let us design the Turing machine for this problem. So let the string is uh, uh, triple A triple B. Triple A triple B. So let this is our string. So let us take triple A triple B. So that uh, all the cases will be taken. So let the string is triple uh, A triple B. So let us take some bigger diagram. So let the string is. Triple A, triple B. So A, 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 B, B, B. So after this, we can have n number of blank spaces. We can take uh, n number of blank symbols. So here also, before this, uh, we can have n number of uh, blank symbols. Okay. Uh, here, uh, this is the read write head. We know the advantage of read write head. We can perform both read operation as well as write operation. So write operation means change the content of A to some other content, change the content of B to some other content. As well as one more advantage of the read write head is we can move either from left to right or from right to left. Whereas that provision is not available in the finite automata and PDA. In finite auto and PDA we can move only from left to right. Whereas here we can move in both the directions. So parallelly, let us construct the uh, diagram here, transition diagram. So let the starting state is Q0, let the starting state is Q0. Uh, if we read A, then change the content of the A to X and move the read right head towards the right. So if we read A, then change the content of A to X and move the read right head towards the right. So R stands for we are moving towards the right. Okay. So now the read right head is at this location. Let, let the next state is uh, Q1. So if you read any number of A's, then there is no need to change them. We have to simply move the read right head towards the right till we get B. Okay. So here there is no need to change any state here. So if you read A, then there is no need to change A. So write A only. And move the read right head towards the right. So here we have A. There is no need to change the A. So that's why here we have written A only. And move the read right head towards the right. So now the read right head is at this location. So here we have A. So replace with A only. So A, A won't changes. And move the read right head towards the right. So now the read right head is at this location. Okay. So next, if we read B, 
then change the content of the B to Y. Change the content of the B to Y. And move the read write head towards the left till we get the X. Okay. So now we have to change the state from Q1 to Q2. So if we read B, then replace it with Y. It is our choice. We can use some other variable also. We can use some other name also. There is no problem. And move the read write head towards the left till we get X. Till we get X. Okay. So let us change from Q1 to Q2 state now. Okay. So change uh, B from uh, uh, change B, B to Y and move towards the left. Now read right head is at this location. So if we read A, then there is no need to change the A. So keep A as it is and move the read right head towards the left. So here we have A, no need to change A. So move towards the left. So again we have A. So no need to change and move the read right head towards the left. So now here we have X. So whenever we read X here, then write a uh, transition like this. Whenever we read X, then there is no need to change X. So write as X only, but move the read right head towards the right. Okay. So here we have X. There is no need to change X, but move the read right head towards the right. So now the read right head is at this position. So again, uh, A is applied on Q0. If A is applied, then we have to replace A with X. So let us replace A with X and move towards the right. Okay. So move towards the right. So now we are at Q1 state. Now we are at Q1 state. So if we apply A on Q1, then there is no need to change uh, this A. Why? Because uh, A is modified to X. Now we have to move until we get the B. Okay. So there is uh, no need to change here, but we need to move towards the right. So move towards the right. Next here we have Y. Okay. So let us make one more transition. So if we read Y on Q1, then there is no need to change Y. There is no need to change Y, but we have to move read right head towards the right. There is no need to change the state here. So move read right head towards the right. Okay. So next here we have B. So if we move B, then replace this B with Y and move the read right head towards the left and move the read right head towards the left. So now we have to change from Q1 to Q2. So Q1 to Q2. So now we are at which state? Q2 state. Okay. Here we have A. So if we have, if we apply A on Q2, then there is no need to change A here and move towards the left. So now read right head is at this location. Okay. If we read X on Q2, then there is no need to change X. We have to simply maintain as X only, but move the read right head towards the right. Okay. So here we have X. There is no need to change this X, but move the read right head towards the right. So now we are at Q0. Q0. So here we have A. So if we have A on Q0, then change the content to X. Change the content to X and move the read right head towards the right. And uh, here uh, that content is changed here. Now uh, the read right head is at this location. So we applied Y here. There is no need to change Y. There is no need to change Y. So that's why we have written Y only. But we have to move the read right head towards the right. So he, uh, we are at Q1 only. This is self loop. So again uh, Y is applied on the Q1. So there is no need to change Y, but we have to move read right head towards the right. So let us move here. Next here we have B. So if we apply B on Q1, then it is, should be modified to Y. It should be modified to Y, but we have to move towards the left. We have to move towards the left. So now we are at Q2 state. So on Q2 state, on Q2 state, if we apply Y, here we have Y. Okay, on Q2 state, if we apply Y, then there is no need to change Y. So Y, so keep Y as it is. But we have to main, uh, move the read right head towards the left. We have to move the read right head towards the left. Okay, so Y, there is no need to change Y, but we need to move read right head towards the left. 
So now the read write head is at this location only. So again y is applied. Again y is applied. So there is no need to change y. But we have to move read write head towards the left. So next x is applied. X is applied. So there is no need to change this x. But we have to move the read write head towards the right. So now we are at q0 state. Now we are at q0 state. So all the x's are completely readed. So after this x, we don't have any other a. So we can say that all the a's are completed. Okay. So let us check whether is there are any b's or not. So that's why here on q0, on q0, on q0, if we apply y, then there is no need to change y. But we have to move the read right head towards the right. So next state is q3. Next state is q3. So on q0 y is applied. There is no need to change y. But we have to move towards the right. We have to move towards the right. So on q3 if we apply any number of y's. Then keep y's as it is. But move the read right head towards the right. So here we have one more y. So keep as it is. But move the read right head towards the right. So one more y is applied. So no need to change y. But move the read right head towards the B. So B specifies that blank symbol. So there are no other Bs. Okay. So that's why here. Whenever the blank symbol is applied. So here the transition is like this. So whenever. Whenever blank symbol is applied. Then uh, it should be replaced with blank symbol only. So let us move to the right. Let us move to the right. So now we have moved to the this location. So what is the state Q4. So this Q4 is the final state. Okay. So here uh, all the three A's are replaced with X. We have three A's. So those are replaced with X's. And we have three B's. Those are replaced with Y, 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 Y. And after that we have uh, got the blank spaces. So blank spaces specifies that B's are also over. So here we have three A's. And 3As are followed by 3Bs. So we can say that this is a, a correct transition diagram only. So this is the Turing mission. So for this problem. Uh, in the examination we can write uh, transition functions as like this. So delta of Q0 comma. If we apply A on uh, Q0. Then uh, we are moving to state Q1. And this A should be replaced with X. And we have to move towards the right. So likewise we can write uh, the transition functions also. Okay. In this way we can design a Turing machine for this problem.